Hi everybody, and welcome to my inbox review of the TU95MS Bear H from Trumpeter in 1144 scale. You can see that the finished model has a length of just over 34 centimeters, a wingspan of 35, 122 parts, and comes with a Soviet Air Force paint scheme. It is molded in light grey plastic. Each sprue is individually bagged. You have the first sprue having the fuselage, the second sprue having the upper side of the wings, third having the lower parts of the wings, a fourth sprue for the engines, and a fifth sprue with all small parts, wheels and propellers. There's a very small clear sprue, as expected, very small transfer sheet, A separate colour call out with two versions, not the one that says on the box, and of course an instruction sheet. The first sprue contains both fuselage halves. There's a lot of surface detail but it seems to be cut quite shallow. Both halves of the fuselage have a similar level of detail of course and there are quite a few ducts and air vents. The two wing sprues next. You can see here that the upper surface of the wings are considerably larger than the lower surface. That's because the lower surface recesses into the upper part, meaning that uh, control surfaces, ailerons, flaps and what have you are all part of one piece of plastic meaning there's no uh, ugly seam potentially along the trailing edge of the wing I quite like that again the same level of detail with panel lines picked out then on to the engine sprue there are four engines the two inboard engines much longer uh, as the nacelles also contain the landing gear and then the outboard engines similar levels of detail of course the landing gear themselves the main gear quite nicely detailed The wheel wells have no detail. And the final grey sprue contains the four propellers, um, two for each engine as contra rotating props. It has lots of wheels, and in the centre, the cockpit floor, the flight deck, with some instrument panel detail, which is interesting to see in 1144th. The wheels, no tyre tread, but they are small, they're 1144 scale, so you might not necessarily expect that. And two items here, quite interesting, are the pilot and co-pilot seat. It's nice to see seats provided with a 1144 scale kit. Onto the clear parts. Um, in Trumpeter's usual style, the parts to be painted on the canopy are frosted. I quite like that. There's an interestingly shaped rear gunner's um, position. Interesting to note that the clear parts for the windows are considerably larger than the windows themselves, which should aid in installing them. Another thing I quite like about this kit. Onto the transfers now. It's a very small sheet. You have uh, two schemes. One is the Russian stars, Soviet stars, and one is Ukrainian. Interesting to note the Ukrainian flag and a Russian flag, which means that this kit here isn't actually a USSR version, as it says on the box, but it's from the Russian Federation. Bought numbers, we have 23 for the Russian version and 33 
for the Ukrainian. They seem reasonably thin and are in register. The call-out sheet um, shows you, of course, where to put them. The scheme is rather simple, and you, but you can see here there is a Russian flag, meaning this is a Federation aircraft, not USSR. The transfer placements are the same for the Ukrainian and the Russian version, so there's no real need to duplicate that. Very simple scheme on both sides, but here it shows you the tail position of the Ukrainian markings. Callouts are in guns, hobby color. So onto the instructions, the usual one from the first page, we have a sprue map here and then onto step one which is the cockpit, interestingly as we've already seen seats, control yokes and even what looks like a small wheel and a bulkhead. Onto the front landing gear, the nose gear, it's a very simple affair and that is attached directly to the bottom of the cockpit floor. Then the clear windows are placed into the uh, front of the fuselage, which has been painted uh, RLM 02 grey. And then we're on to installing the cockpit into the two main fuselage halves with quite a few uh, intakes and things to add on. Next up are the front landing gear doors, uh, a couple of other intakes and uh, various antennas. These look quite small in 1144 scale. Then onto the main gear, uh, eight wheels in total, four per side. Um, it gives you the instructions once of course, so it's make it two and a nice diagram of what it should look like, angles and things from the side. Your gun position is a simple instruction onto the engines then and the inboard engine first just on the left for now interesting to see that the gear are recessed and, and part of that engine I generally prefer to do my gear separately and add them on at the end and I don't know if that will be an option then the left outboard engine a more simple effect because it's just the front part the instruction for the construction of the wing with a couple of exhausts and then over the page we're installing the engines we then repeat the entire process with the right hand side. Horizontal stabilizers go on next in simple instruction and then bolt the entire thing together with the canopy going on last. Well, there you have it, my review of the TU-95 MS Bear H from Trumpeter in 1144 scale. I couldn't see any flash at all on the kit and no noticeable sink marks, so the moulding seems quite crisp. This is Trumpeter's own tool from 2006. They also do a Bear J in the same scale, so I assume it's the same kit in, in the majority. I have heard, I've read, that this is in fact a scaled down version of their 172nd Bear. That kit I have also read had issues with the wing roots and not being quite accurate. I am not uh, an expert on bears necessarily. Um, apparently this kit is the same, but from what I can see, it's a nicely presented version of the TU-95. This review has been helpful in some way to get a view of the quality of the molding of the kit um, and how it goes together. Um, so thanks for watching. And until next time, keep modelling and have fun. Bye.